as tears become rivers emptying into a sea of pain. There you'll find my heart, smashed into a thousand pieces littered in the rain. Amongst the shadows is where you'll see, a glimpse of the woman I used to be. I used to believe in the good of everything, everyone, an optimist. Nothing could cloud my day, my world. I met him on a sunny June day and knew he was heaven sent. The sun shined brighter, the world was happier. Here, standing in front of me, was the one I've waited my whole life for. Him, my destroyer. The man that cracked my universe and taught me things, and people weren't always what they seemed. And no matter how I tried, there was no longer a sun in sight to see. I trusted him, gave my heart to him. He used me. Did he ever love me? Does he know what love means? Loyalty. Please. He has none except to himself. I lost myself in him and his world. Who am I? I'm not sure. They call me Ananda. I call me damaged. I'm not who I used to be and unsure of who I'm supposed to be. And there is the problem. I'm a broken reflection of someone I used to know and can never be again. Am I better or worse after him? My heart is definitely worse, but my spirit? The one thing he couldn't touch is unbroken. My spirit survived his wrath, and in due time, so will I. Yeah, they sit in their perfect bubblegum world talking about me, judging me, but I could give two shits. They don't know me or what I represent. I didn't know I was the other woman. I'm his one and only. In my world, I was his woman. That's what he told me, that's what I believe. Or is that what I wanted to believe? He thinks that he can just step out on me? Either way, why is she hating me? I'm not the one that lied to her or cheated on her. If anything, I should hate her. She's living my life, the one I should have had. She tried to steal my life. Why waste energy hating me? Do I hate her? I want to ask her. He comes home to you every night. While y'all are out making, making memories and taking family portraits, I'm spending holidays alone. No birthday celebrated. She gets that, my life, a real life. But do I hate her? Yeah. No. That's the difference between me and her. He made me love him, not her. He made me think we were going to be forever, not her. Till death do us part. He made me love him knowing he was living a double life, not her. Till death do us part. But the devil on my left and the angel on my right are having conflicting thoughts. Till death do us part. Both can't win. So for her safety and my sanity, I hope she learns to value her life and leave me to mine. She's going to see there will be hell to pay. He is mine till death do us part. This man, with all my heart, and I, I know that his heart isn't in it the way that mine is, but that's okay. I, I can love enough for the both of us. I know that I can. I'm going to make this marriage work if it kills me. You know, I remember standing at the altar and him saying that he's going to love and honor me till death do us part and I knew that he didn't really mean it. I mean, I, I do believe that he loves me, but it's the till death do us part component of it that I really question. I think that he married me just to offset the chaos in his life, but I'm going to milk this for all that it's worth. And as long as air still pumps through my lungs and blood still runs through my veins, he is mine. Come on, Tracy, where are you? You said you were gonna meet me here. But I'm gonna give her 10 more minutes. Hello? <laughs> Hello. I'm Malcolm. <laughs> Ananda. <laughs> Are you laughing at me? No, not at all. I'm just enjoying the view. <laughs> well, if there's nothing else I can help you with, I am waiting for someone. Well, actually, there is. I'm an agent, and I think you have an amazing look. Maybe you'll think about me representing you. In the meantime, you can use my number for whatever else suits you. An agent, huh? Yeah, I represent models, and I'm telling you, you have what it takes. I know you're taking me for a joke right now, yeah. <laughs> but I never play about my money. All right, an agent, huh? Well, why don't you take out my number in case I neglect to call you? All right. 202-555-1111. Uh, right. Wait a minute. 
This not the rejection hotline, is it? Oh no, not this time, not this time. Mm. Okay. <laughs> well, I'll be in touch with you. Okay, thank you, Malcolm. Mm, mm, mm. Tracy, where are you? You said you were gonna meet me here at 11. What? Oh, I thought you were talking about the Shade Lounge. Well, guess what? You'll never believe what just happened. This guy comes to me talking about he's an agent. I swear. He said I had what it takes. Okay, why are you laughing? It's not funny. Seriously, I think he's legit. All right, girl, well, I'm home now, so I'll just talk to you later. Because somebody's hating. All right, I'll see you later. That girl. Hello? Thinking about me? You do know how late it is, right? Didn't your mom teach you any manners to be calling a stranger phone this late at night? I thought you was a big girl. Or do you have a curfew? Oh, you got jokes, huh? No, not at all. I just want to know if you was thinking about me. <laughs> thinking about you? I am absolutely not thinking about you. Does that answer your question? Yeah, but I accomplished what I intended because you're thinking about me now. <laughs> all right, all right, I'm thinking about you. Are you happy? Yeah, I guess. Okay, well, I don't have a curfew, but I do need to go to work tomorrow, so I'm going to talk to you later, okay? Well, I didn't mean to ruin your beauty sleep, but what you doing two weekends from now? I'll be back in town, and I want to come visit you. Wait, wait, wait. You don't live here? No, I'm from Atlanta, but I do a lot of business out in Merlin, so I'll be up there quite often. Well, I definitely want to see you, but I'm going to have to get back to you as far as being a house guest and all. I don't know you. You might try to take advantage of me. Oh, I'm definitely going to take advantage of you. What? But it's okay, because you're going to thoroughly enjoy it. Oh, cocky, I see. Well, look, mm -hmm. I do need to go to bed, so I'm going to tell you good night, okay? Wait, 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 wait. Before you go to bed, make sure you dream about me, all right? What? Boy, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Dear diary, today I met a nice, strapping young man. <laughs> I know I said I was giving up relationships, but maybe I told you that too soon. He seems really nice. Are you looking for these? I thought you were asleep. I was until I heard you get up. Where are you going? It's none of your business where I'm going. Let me have my keys. Not until you tell me where you're going. I don't have time for this. Wait, wait what about your keys? Look, keep them as a souvenir for yourself. I have to go. Wait, what does that mean? Are you coming back? Oh no, are you crazy? Get your naked ass back in the house. I would have no with no clothes on. I What's wrong with you? I just, I just wanted to know where you were going. You can't leave me here like You trying to get me arrested or something, huh? You crazy? Look, keep the goddamn keys. I'm out. I'm happy you came back. You tired? Mm-hmm. Well, that's what you get for running the streets on hours of the night. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's not why I'm tired. Okay, Malcolm, so what's the problem? My problem is you. I need some space. I think that's enough space. And besides, you were gone all day yesterday. I think that's enough space. I need some space away from you. I'm out here doing me anyway. That ain't fair to you. <laughs> I thought at some point you were gonna reel that in. And you tell me now, I thought I've been waiting 10 years for you, that you have no intention on strengthening our relationship. Look, I'm sorry, but I can't keep playing these games with you. 
I met someone, and I want to be able to date her without feeling guilty that I have you at home waiting for me. <laughs> this has something to do with that woman you met in D.C.? Her name is Ananda. Oh, you're not good at keeping secrets, Malcolm. And you tell me now? I thought I've been waiting years for you. Oh, my goodness. Could I have me some side gig? Some more? Baby, listen. No, no, no. Come here. Are you crazy? Do you think I was going to take that sitting down? Yeah, I dare you with your selfish ass. Ever put your hands on me? What's wrong with you? Don't you ever touch me again. Daddy? What? What are you doing to mommy? Uh, nothing, sweetheart. We just uh, playing a game, that's all. Can I play too? No, not this game, boo. What are you doing up so early? You and mom were allowed to woke me up. I'm hungry, daddy. Oh, you are? Well, what you want for breakfast? Come on. Pancakes and waffles and... He'll be sorry. I'll make sure of it. <sighs> yeah, of course. Uh-huh. Well, you can, um, you can tell him that. That's fine. Okay. Well, we're gonna have to set the meeting up for that then. Yeah, that's, 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 that's totally fine. Okay. Okay, well, I have a visitor now, so I'm gonna give you a call back. Hey, Mr. Walters. Mr. Lewis, how you doing? I'm doing great. I'm glad you called back. We yeah. came back. You uh, have a seat right there. Thank you, sir. How's everything with you? Oh, everything's going well. You know, business is business. You know, things is going well, though. Well, the reason why I came here today, I want you to meet this beautiful woman named Ananda. Oh, okay. What's so special about her? Everything. Man, you have to come check her out. Hmm. Okay. Well, um, I am throwing an event in a couple of weeks, so you can bring her by then. A couple of weeks? What, that's two, um, three weeks? I say about two weeks from now. Um, okay. That's what we're planning on two weeks from now. Um, it's going to be at the Miche Lounge in D.C. So. All right. Yeah. What time? Uh, might start off around 8. Who knows? Eight Not black people show up. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Nine o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, uh, I got to go, man. I have a lot of things to do, man. All you right, know man. how life is. Well, I appreciate the meeting, man. Oh, yeah, most definitely. I'm glad you stopped by again, man. Thank you. All right. Hey, Lorna, tell Taylor to bring the car around, please. All right. <sighs> did you enjoy the fireworks? Yes, I did. That was the first time I've been to the fireworks at the mall before. Wow, really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I've been waiting to ask you this question all day. What's up? How were you able to sit out there without sweating with a suit on? <laughs> Well, I am from Atlanta. It gets much hotter down there, so I'm nah, used to it. Please. The summer days here in D.C. are legendary, okay? I've been here all my whole life, and I'm still not used to it. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. well, I guess you can't take Atlanta, huh? What? What you trying to say? I'm just saying, you can't take the heat. You tried it. <laughs> uh, hold on. Hello? Wait, 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 Tracy. I'll be right back. What's wrong? He did what? Uh-uh. What? Where you at? Look, I don't have time for this unless something wrong with Caprice. If not, I have to go. Well, Caprice is sick, Malcolm. Where you at now? At home where you should be. I'll be there in three hours. Uh-uh, that's not good enough. Look, you know I'm out of town right now. That's good enough for me, all right? Now look, tell my baby I'm on the way. Mm-hmm. That girl is crazy. Hey, everything okay? <sighs> Something about a mistress and to get some Tims and a hoodie and a 007 work. Look, Tims and a hoodie? I don't know. I got uh, some Tims and a hoodie in the trunk. You do? What's up? Yeah. And just in case we want to roll out, I just want to make sure. All right, All right it's cool with me. But what about you? I heard you yelling. Is everything okay? <sighs> Business, that's mm, all. Business, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> it is your first night over here and I did have to leave you alone. I feel so bad. Oh, you do, huh? Mm -hmm. What can I do to make you feel better? Well, you can first start off by... It's like midnight. Who's knocking on the door? Who is it? It's me, Mercy! Who? Tell Malcolm to bring his ass out here! 
uh, friend of yours, I take it? Is she serious right now? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Malcolm, don't make me go through her door. Hello, hello, hello. I heard you the first time. Didn't your mom teach you any manners? Because you should know better than to knock on a stranger's door this late at night. Child, I can give two shits about you and what manners you have. Where's my daughter's father? Uh-uh-uh. You got me twisted. I didn't invite you in. She Step past me. me one more time. Me. Yeah, put the baby down. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm not playing with you. Cause you think I'm playing with you. you, oh, you oh, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, oh, you better get my Jesus. daughter out that bitch house. Jesus, shut up. Uh -uh. Then left the baby. Get off of me, Malcolm. Who leaves a baby on the get ground? Get off of me. Get off of me. So you need to calm down. I don't need to do a damn thing. Get my daughter out of her house. Look, I swear I will leave you out here by yourself if you don't get it together. Now what are you even doing here? So you think you gonna be out? Do whatever you want to, Malcolm. We are a family. You, me, and Caprice. And you doing God knows what out here with this tramp. She is not a tramp. Hmm, could have fooled me. Uh, oh, she's still here? Yes, I'm still here, honey boo boo child. What? What is wrong? Is this what you like? This he ain't got no time. Oh, oh yeah. no. Hey, hey. Hey, listen. First of all, what kind of mother are you to carry that big ass baby on your hip coming here late at night? Now, that's my baby this now. Hold on. your bitch. Oh, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, no. Wait, I got it, I got it, I got it. I, you better handle home. it. You got five minutes, I'll be back out here. <laughs> Look, right you need to leave before the neighbors call the police. I'm not going anywhere without my daughter. Shut up! Look, Caprice is fine, all right? Be the mother I know you can be and let her rest for the night. You shouldn't even be dragging around through the night anyway. What is wrong with you? You know what? That's true. I don't want my daughter to suffer. So I'll be back for her in Shut the morning. Shut up! You won't be back for her in the morning, all right? You call me with your location, and I will drop her off to you. Mm. I guess. Don't let that woman in my baby. I got See it. what happened to pop up somewhere. Whatever, just get out of here. I know I had that knife around here somewhere. Where, Where is the... Oh, huh. She think it's a game? Oh, no, I don't play them games. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is on your mind right now? Obviously, I'm upset. This is your first night over and you already got your baby mama trying to act all ratchet in here? Listen, why did you give her my address? You know what, don't even answer. Don't even answer. Because you know what, the only reason why you're in my presence right now is because your baby's in their sleep, no thanks to her loony ass parents. Hey, what type of man do you think I am? I'm trying to find out. Why would I do anything foolish like give out your address? Then how did she get it? Well, when Mercy wants to find out something, she's good at finding it out. You know what? You got a lot of crazy wrapped around you, and I don't care to be a part of it. She know when the last time I got in a fight was? Matter of fact, you know when the last time I had an unwarranted fight come to my front door? My front door, Malcolm? Oh. I'm sorry about this, okay? I didn't mean for any of this to come to your front door. Tell me what I need to do to make it up to you. I don't think there's anything you can do. I'm not young and limber anymore. I can't be fighting people. Got my neck hurting and stuff. <laughs> Look, I can fix this. And you're going to allow me that. <laughs> okay. Hmm. I'm truly sorry for about everything that's happened here tonight. Let me show you how much. Show me to the left. Show me to, to the left. Yes. To the left. Why you stop? What are you looking at? I'm just looking at how beautiful you are. Here you go. But I need to talk to you about something important. Oh, no. How many baby mamas do you have? <laughs> it's nothing like that. Nothing uh, like that. Come on. Okay. I know you on the fence about me personally right yes. now. Yes. Okay. But I do have a business proposition for you, if you're interested. I'm listening. There has recently been a model casting call, and I think you have the look that they're going for. So if you were to land a job, it'd be for a national campaign. Wait, 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 wait. A national campaign? Yes. You think I have what it takes to be a national campaign? I do indeed. I mean, see, look at me though. I was like, thank you. <laughs> so, does this look of glee mean that you forgive me for everything tonight? No. But this is a start. So what do I need to do? Well, first, you need to attend a party with me in two weeks. It's going to be hosted here in D.C. Okay. Hosted by the talent agency that's conducting the whole search, all right? Okay. You need to be here with everything but bells on. Hmm, I think I have the perfect dress for it. I'm gonna go try it on. All right, let's go. Oh, no, 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 no. You thought I forgot what just happened? You're in the doghouse. What? Yeah, uh-huh. Mm -mm, mm -mm. You're not gonna leave me out like that. Let me see what that booty do, girl.
Oh no, my date is parking the car. What do you have to drink? Pinot, Pinot what? You got any Moscato? Moscato? No, okay. <laughs> hey. hey. How you doing? Good, this is a great party. It is, honey. Look at all these people out here. I know, right? Man. It's a lot of people. I know. <laughs> Mr. Lewis. Hey, Mr. Walter. How you doing, sir? I'm doing well. Hey, I heard some exciting things about you. I heard you doing some uh, exciting things in Atlanta. You know, yeah. increasing the uh, visibility of the cities that becoming lifestyle. Oh, oh, and the cultural activities within the African American community. Yes, sir. Truly respect that. Thank you. Appreciate that. Indeed. This here is the beautiful Ananda that I wanted you to meet. Well, beautiful name for a beautiful woman. Walter Lewis. I'm the host of this event. Nice to meet you. This is great. Yeah. Oh, speaking of which, um. Yeah, I think she definitely has a look we can mark. Um, look, how about I give you my car and yeah, you give me a call Monday morning and we can schedule uh, some test shots. But unfortunately, I'm sorry guys, I have to go. I got a lot of people that insane. I know you're a busy man. Right. All right, Mr. All right. Walter. Ananda. Nice meeting you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, now look, make sure you call him first thing Monday morning, all right? You want to make sure that he signs you on as a client. Wait, we? You speak on a French now? As your manager, it is my job to make sure that you don't miss important phone calls. Oh, you're my manager now? Mm -hmm. We'll work out the many details later. Okay, well, there's some things I want to work out now, so mm -hmm. can we leave or do we have to stop? Well, the way you're looking in that dress. Mm, God dang. I say we can definitely leave. All right, follow me. Let's play a little game. What's that? First one to the car comes first. Mm -hmm. Something's wrong with my husband. He's not acting the way he normally acts. And I keep asking him about it, and he keeps saying that everything's fine, but I know for a fact that everything isn't fine. He's been neglecting his husbandly duties, the duties that I've grown accustomed to him performing every night. Look, I've never ever suspected anything of him before, but I know that something is wrong. And if he's out there sneaking around with some other woman, I will find out and there will be hell to pay. Mmm, I see you dressed yourself this morning. Dress is cute. Hey, baby. Are you hungry? Just ignore me. Hello? Are you coming by tonight? No, I won't be able to make it tonight. I'm sorry. Who was that? And since when do we have to take calls in the other room? Since you wanted to become inch high private eye. Oh. You just keep playing with me. I'm just going to pray. Look, please kill the noise, all right? I'm in no mood for your mess today. Mm, okay. Daddy, are you okay? Yes, princess. Just uh, finish your food, okay? Okay. I wasn't done talking with you. Well, I'm done listening. Okay. I'm gonna go do something. Let's go. Hello? You make that phone call yet? <laughs> Not yet, but I'll do it once we get off the phone. What are you waiting for? Do you want me to make the phone call for you? Uh, no. Then he'll think I can't handle my own affairs. I got this. All right. Just know I'm here for you if you need me. I know, and I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Mm hmm As a matter of fact, what are you doing next weekend? I could really use a change of scenery, and I was thinking about coming to ATL. Um. Hello? <laughs> uh. Hello? I guess that'll be okay. You guess. Why are you saying like that? Do you want me to come or don't you? Oh, I definitely want you to come. And I mean that in every sense of the word. Nasty self. Mm-hmm. I wish you was right here so you could see what you was doing to me, girl. I'll be there soon enough. I can't wait. But look, back to business, all right? Make that call so we can make this deal happen, all right, baby? Yes, sir, okay? All right, now. All right, now. Send me a picture, though. Picture of what? <laughs> no boxes. What you no mean? No boxes. Mm, I got you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> They stupid. Hunter, Hunter, Lewis, Hunter, Lewis.
What's his number? Santa Lewis. Hey, Mr. Lewis, this is Ananda. I met you last week at the networking event. You gave me your business card. Ananda, of course I remember who you are. I'm glad you made it your business to call me. I trust you know that's a very wise first move. Is that right? That is very right indeed. The second right thing you did was to ensure that you nabbed the attention of a CEO of a, of a talent agency. So uh, kudos to you on that savvy move as well. I found that very interesting. There was a lot of people at the party. How was I able to grasp your attention? <laughs> you know what I find interesting? No, what? That today is your lucky day. I am currently working on a campaign for Colgate that will be shown nationally. And I can book you an audition as early as tomorrow if you're available. Are you serious? <sighs> well, I don't think I'm going to do tomorrow. I got to work. <laughs> now, I got a question for you. Um, how many times have you been pretty much handed a deal? Look, I'm giving you an opportunity of a lifetime. You know how many women would die to be in your position right now? Look, <clears throat> I tell you what. You say yes right now, and then tomorrow, you will never have to need another job again. And I promise you that. You know what, you're right. This doesn't happen often. I'm sure I can get another waitress to take my shift or something. Like, I'll be at the photo shoot. Uh, great, great news. Okay, I'm gonna um, <clears throat> put you online with my assistant and uh, she's gonna gather a few more details from me and we're gonna uh, book you as soon as tomorrow. Okay. And I will see you then. All right, thank you so much. All right. Right here. Okay. Yeah. The finest tent. Okay. Give me a minute. All right. Have a seat. Okay. <sighs> hey. hey. Sorry I'm late. I it's missed okay. you. I miss you more. Mm. <laughs> Let me get this chair for you. Okay. Such mm. a gentleman. Mm-hmm. Look, I got a room for us at the Westin on Peachtree, just for me and you this weekend. Oh, really? That's oh, nice. Man. You look beautiful anywhere you come. Look at you trying to seduce me already and we didn't even eat yet. <laughs> These cookies are free. Well, excuse me, I didn't know paying a compliment was seducing, and those cookies are free to me. Mm, you tried it, mm. but you know what you're doing. I like it. Oh, you do? Mm-hmm. Where's more of where that came from? Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Guess what? Guess who got a national campaign today? Who? Are you serious? Me! <laughs> they called me as soon as I was boarding the flight and everything. They loved my test shoes. I called my mom. I was like, no more Roman noodles. She was excited. Roman she was really noodles. excited. <laughs> she was so excited. Well, good. Didn't I tell you you had what it takes? Yeah, you did. Mm-hmm. Well, it seems like a celebration is in order. Uh, waiter. Can I get something for you, Um, What type of wine do you like? A Moscato. Moscato. Oh, what? Excuse you? Nothing, sir. Can't get you the bottle of the glass. The bottle, please. Did he call me basic? I think so, man. Oh, he ain't getting no tip. They rude wow. here. <laughs> I apologize about that. It's you know. okay. You got a problem, sir? No, 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 I'm fine. <laughs> it's enough, sir. No, it's not. Pour some more. To the Stop. top, sir? No, it's fine now. You sure? Yes, dip. Dip off. Mm -hmm. Don't spill it. <laughs> what? What is wrong with the... Look, I, I, I thought know. you said you go to this place all the time. I do, but I guess he's a new guy. I don't know. Mm. I, I still can't believe he called me basic now. Like... Don't worry about him. Anyway basic about me though. Look, don't worry about that, right, okay? I just don't like, you know, right. I never said, I ain't do nothing to them. Oh I'm just saying. God. I cannot oh, believe shit. you bought this hoe to our spot. She got one more hoe. Hell, she got one our more spot. Hoe. Can you lower your voice? You embarrassing yourself. I'm not embarrassed, so I will not lower my voice. Oh no. You must be uh -uh. the one embarrassed. Wait, baby, hold on. No, no, no. And you can shell that little romantic evening you have at the West End. I canceled those reservations. What? Boop! Mm-hmm. Yes. You know what? 
excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Y'all being entirely too loud. I have to ask you guys to leave. I'm not leaving unless he leaves. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I'll leave. God, dang it. What the? Ready? I'm going. <laughs> that was very embarrassing. I know. I, I apologize for that. What kind of girls you into? Oh. You want to know what? She's doing that because no one has ever said anything to her. I'm going to say something. Wait, no, I'm no, say no, something. no. No, shut up. I'm going to say something. <laughs> Look at her clothes. <laughs> you do know how stupid you look, right? Who does she keep looking at? Listen. I know you're not fixing your mouth to talk to Mercy. <laughs> I don't see anybody else out here looking stupid. <laughs> don't you know as a woman, if you keep your composure, maybe you can get your point across better than being ratchet and loud. Mm, right. Mm -hmm. Compose this. Hold on. Yeah. Don't you ever put your hands okay, on her ever again. Now, nah, my I home, will nah, whoop your nah. ass. Nah. No, I got nah. it. I got no, it. No, she need her ass with no, one No, no, you better not put your hands nah, on her ever uh, again. No, no. What? Oh, shit. Oh, oh. Wait, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, man, I'm not gonna let y'all fight like this. Y'all grown ass women. I go to church every Sunday. I'm trying to get my life right. She got me out here acting a fool. <laughs> you know what? If you leave with this hoe tonight, don't you even forgive bother coming. You know forgive me, like Lord. No forgive way. me. <laughs> Yeah, I am. For real? Are you happy now, huh? Oh, wow. You happy? No! <laughs> no, I ain't happy! <laughs> Shoot. Bring your ass home! I'm not coming home. You gonna buy me a new wig, though? No, I'm not. <laughs> you need to leave, all right? I'm not. Leave, leave my hair. Where's my hair? Where's Look, your hair's all gone. Now get out of here! <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm send you an invoice. <laughs> Baby, listen, I am you need to so get sorry. I'm out of breath. Listen, do I have to deal with this every time I see you? No, I promise you, you won't. Good, because I would hate to have to kill you. There's no need for you all that. got me out here looking like a fool. Get my shoe, man. <laughs> I told you not to come, I mean. What? Huh, nothing. I ain't seen you before. In the ATL, out here in the streets, fighting. <laughs>
So you're saying that you're willing to kick the mother of your child out into the streets? That's what you're saying? See, I would never kick my daughter out. Caprice always will have a place to stay. You are so damn selfish. You know what? You make it so easy to hate you. Easy. The feeling is definitely mutual. You know what? You can stay. I'm out. Wait, hold on, Malcolm. You're not just gonna leave me like this. Well, fuck you then. You know, I think he'll be okay without you, Mercy. And anyways, it's time, time that you learned your How place. you get into my house? <laughs> really? I was getting up to fight anyway, so we could just do this. You know what? It's, that part's not important, but what is important is that we talk. So why don't, why don't you just sit down? Maybe I'll sit down after I whoop your ass. I'll sit down. Okay, I said sit. Ooh, that's real cute. Oh, that's real. Ooh, I, think, I think I am going to sit down, though. I think I am. I think I am. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now what you need to understand is that you and Malcolm are over. You're done. That's it. I've heard that before. Um, you do realize that we do have a child together, and I had him before you, Heather, and I always You know what, you're just not getting it, but it doesn't matter. You know why? Because I will be there to comfort him at your funeral. <laughs> Woo, girl, you are funny. What makes you think then I'm gonna let you come up in my house and tell me. Hello? Hey, I know you sleep, and I apologize for waking you up, but can you come open your door? Mm-hmm, open the door. I'm outside. Can you please come and open your door? Yes, outside. Come and do Ananda, listen to me. It's cold out here. Can you please come open your door? Uh-huh, what? You here? If you don't get your butt up... Oh, okay, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry about that. I was knocked out. Yeah. Is everything okay? You usually don't come over uninvited like this. I've been dealing with a multitude of different things that have been stressing me out lately. Okay, you want to talk about it? No, not really. I just want you to hold me for the night. Is that okay? Aw, sure. Thank you. Just go to sleep. Yeah. Mm, shh, go to sleep. I feel like Who and hey, what is that? I don't know, hold on. Wait here, I'm gonna check it out. Wait here, this is my house. <laughs> what are you doing here? Well, one, I thought I'd let my husband know that Mercy killed herself. And two, that's it. You're caught. You're busted. Wait, 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 wait. What? Who oh, is this? Oh, she didn't know. Malcolm is married, honey. Married? It's not what you... You're an asshole. <sighs> Wait, Heather, what are you talking about? Mercy ki killed herself, what? Yeah, and maybe if you hadn't turned your phone off, you would know. Do you know how many times I've called you and texted you and left voicemails? Yes, Mercy killed herself. And you know what? It's a good thing that I found the address for this place in my nightstand and that I got the email receipt that you sent to my email by mistake. I can put two and two together, Malcolm. But yes, Mercy is dead. And the police want to question you. They said something about what? a note. Caprice is at my mom's house. We need to go and deal with this. Are you serious? Ananda, listen, I... You're married. <laughs> Look, we, we, we can talk about this, all right? Malcolm, you're married. It's not what it seems. Mm-hmm. 
Uh huh. You better get out before I send your ass to the hospital. You sh. Kill you. Freaking married. Yeah, I searched his phone. You're damn right I did. He is so stupid out there thinking that he can do his thing and not get busted. So stupid. I saw everything. I saw the sex videos. I saw the photos. All of it. Him with his head between her legs. Her arms clawing at the sheets. Him sexing her with no condom. No respect. No respect for me, our marriage vows, nothing. And you know what? That's just fine because it's just fine because he can burn in hell before he claims another before me. He's out there calling this woman his girlfriend, prancing around with her, and then he, he wants to straddle the fence and have me over here being his wife and the mother to his kids while he's out there with her. Well, you know what? That's fine. That's just fine because I have something for them. See, we made marriage vows before God, and I am holding him to those vows. Till death do us part, even if death is the only way that I can keep him. Malcolm is married. Why does this always happen to me? I mean, I don't understand it. A random chick got around, I put them in their place. His ratchet baby mama come over, I smashed that hoe. What else do I need to do? You know what? He's so glad he's not in my face right now because I would do my best to make his wife a widow. Wait till his ass get over here. What the hell? <laughs> On joke time, as always. Yes! Hey, can I say I'm sorry? No. I love you. I bet you do. Look, whatever this is, we could fix it. I'm certain that we cannot. And you got some nerve coming over here acting like everything is okay. Everything is okay to me. You don't want to get the attitude. What? You know what I'm talking about, Malcolm. Actually, no, I don't. This nigga here. Enlighten me, <laughs> please. I'm talking about the stranger coming to my house. I'm talking about Heather. Your wife! Well, oh, calm down. You think I'm playing with you? If you don't answer my question, I'm going to show you anything but calm. Are you married? You can't believe everything people tell you. <laughs> everything people tell me? This chick was in my kitchen making my pots and pans. <laughs> you know what? I didn't call you over here to play this bull. To answer the question, are you married? <sighs> it's true. <laughs> I can't believe it. Look, it's not like that. Baby, listen to me. No! How could you do this to me? You said we were a family and this whole time you had another family somewhere out there? I'm sitting there thinking we're in a serious relationship and you out here playing games doing you? Everything isn't always what it seems. <laughs> what? I wasn't good enough for you? No, it's not like that. It's... Then what is it like? You need to get to the point and get to it fast. It's just that she's always been there for me. And ever since I laid eyes on her, I fell in love with her. But then I met you, and I felt for you what I felt for her ten times that. What does that have to do with what I'm asking you? That's irrelevant. Once you're married, none of that stuff matters. You know what? Ooh, let me leave before I hurt you. Wait, baby, hold on. At least let me explain. Don't touch me, first of all. Go ahead. I'm listening. Look, just bear through this with me, okay? I need you now more than ever. Come here. That's I love don't touch me. I love you. You're my world. Mm -hmm. And my heart, it wouldn't not let me get to know you. And everything with mercy and coping with our breakup and fighting her own demons and it, she's just killing herself. It's just been crazy. I, I don't know what to uh, Again, what to you're do. not answering my damn question. <laughs> you know what? It sounds like to me, all of this is because you're selfish. Something like that. Something like, you know what? <laughs> you got some nerves. Listen, I might not have the biggest house on the block or a lot of money in my bank account, but my bills get paid. I'm about to buy my own house soon. I'm on grown woman shit. So for you to sit here and tell me, I only had to talk to you because I liked you, is not good enough. <laughs> You're supposed to be my protector, my best friend. I sit 
there and told you about my exes and how they cheated on me and did all this stuff to me and you said I would never do that. And here you are being the same. You know what, no, you're not the same, you're worse because at least they weren't married. You know what, you're a liar, a phony, and I wish I never met you. Oh, baby, don't cry. I'm just asking for a chance to fix all of this. Fix what? Malcolm, you're married, there's no fixing that. I just need you to understand. No, you know what? There's nothing left to understand. You know how to let yourself out. Wait, Ananda. I'm done. <sighs> Mary, such an asshole. Oh, we coming back for more? Oh, 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 sorry about that. Did I catch you at a bad time? Oh, you love surprising me, huh? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, I was, I was about to make a drink. I'm just uh -huh. having a rough day. Did you want some, Mr. Lewis? Oh, yeah, sure. Okay. Well, I'm trying to understand, see here why you having a rough day and you Colgate's million dollar woman. Matter of fact, how does it feel? <laughs> it's great, you know, it's like surreal. It's like the best thing that's happened to me. But with that being said, um, I was wondering if you had any opportunities here in the, out of the D.C. area. I would really like a change of scenery. Oh, yeah, I, I, can, uh, I can see what I can do, but um, I'm like in debt with your manager forever. I mean, without him, we would never found you. Anyway, um, does he know you're here seeking new work? Ananda. Look, 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 I apologize. I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say you know, what I said to trigger this reaction from you, but I mean, I know you're a strong woman, but if you want to talk to me about anything, I'm, I'm offering to listen to it. I'm so sorry, I'm usually not this emotional, that's it. Listen. Yeah, just take that. <laughs> I just heard some bad news and it's really taking a toll on me. Oh, no. I just found out Malcolm is married. Married! thinking I'm going to marry him and carry his baby, carry his last name, and now none of that is possible. You must think I'm so pathetic right now. Oh, no, not at all. Look, how about I give you another drink? Jeez. No, I don't think I need another one. I think you do. <laughs> Here you go. That should, that should definitely be enough. Uh, okay. A nod. I mean, you know that is alcohol. You should suck that down so fast. I know. I'm really not an alcoholic. It's just... You could have fooled me. I'm just... It just helps me forget, you know. Can I have another one? <laughs> Look, I'm not trying to be your dad or anything, but I think you need to calm down on these drinks. I think I need another one. <sighs> God. What the... Oh, look. Are you sure you're okay? You know what? I'm about to be okay. What you mean? Wait, whoa. <laughs> Look, I, I know, I'm sorry, but this is not a good idea. I don't, I don't think this, we should do this. Who said anything about ideas, good or bad? <sighs> Look, I'm not trying to take advantage of, you know, what you're going through right now. Mm -mm. You're not taking advantage of me. I need this. <laughs> I want this. <laughs> <laughs> you sure about this? Mm -hmm. you... <laughs> Hold on, I'm sorry. What? Stop calling me! <laughs> Just, you know. Yeah, yeah. I hope that's done. Uh. I'm sorry, I'm gonna answer this, okay? Don't start without me. Yeah. <sighs> what? Why do you keep calling me back to back like this? Because I want you to talk to me. There's nothing to talk about. Look, Ananda, I love you. You <laughs> love me? Yes. Do you even know what love is? Look, I want you, okay? Everything isn't always what it seems. I don't love her the way that I love you. You want me. Well, people in hell want ice water, so I don't know what to tell you. All I know is I'm done with the drama, I'm tired of crying, I'm tired of the tears. Listen, if you're not gonna respect your marriage, I will. So let me make this clear, since you can't seem to understand what I'm saying. Me, Ananda, I'm gonna go out and do me. I'm single, I'm gonna have fun. Well, I'm about to have fun. I mean, Wait, what? How are you trying to date somebody else already? I just left your house. 
You know what? You snooze, you lose. Hoes have more loyalty than you. Oh, no, oh, 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 watch your mouth. Because if anyone is the hoe in here, it's definitely you. I've had your baby mama and your wife come to my house. You definitely get the crown of a hoe. Talking about loyalty. Don't speak about anything you have no knowledge of. The only person you're loyal to is yourself. Your self-righteous ass over here judging me? You got some nerve. Listen, I'm single and available, and I don't want to mess with anybody who is neither. So, again, leave me the hell alone! Yeah, whatever, Trick. Now, nah, you want to pick up where we left off? Oh, yes. Are you hungry? Caprice and I just ate. No, I'm okay. Um, do you want to talk about it? You seem like you have a lot on your mind. Did you kill Mercy? <laughs> what would make you ask me something like that? You're not answering the question. Mercy had her own demons and that's Per your own words, she didn't need me to kill her. She killed herself long ago, and I, I don't know if uh, she was just having difficulty accepting the situation or what, but if you ask me, she did us a favor. I will appreciate a direct answer. <laughs> Look, did I, I wish that she would get it together and leave you alone? Yes. Did I wish that she would disappear? Yes. Am I sad that she's gone? No. But Malcolm... Did I kill her? I promise you, I didn't kill her. Okay. Well, uh, can you keep Caprice for me? I have to make a trip. Uh, yes, of course. Uh, Caprice is my baby. We'll have a great time together. All right. Well, I should be back in the morning. I'll give you a call when I get there. Let me see what's on TV. I can never be at peace. What do you want? I had to see you. And I knew you would never agree to talk to me, so I caught the red eye over here just so I can get you to understand. <laughs> Are you alone? No more surprise pop-ups? I'm alone. I really need to talk to you. I don't know what you can say to me now that you couldn't say to me over the phone. I don't know what to say to you. I just knew I had to get over here to see you face to face. Look, come in and close my door. I don't know what else to tell you. It seems like we keep talking and talking and it's all going around in the same circle. At the end of the day, you're married. There's nothing we can do about that. I know, and I'm sorry. I just... I need to talk to somebody ever since I found out that Mercy killed herself. <laughs> Why not your wifey? I, I need to talk to somebody that I can trust. Look, I know you're upset with me right now, but I have nowhere else to turn. Turn off the door. Go, go out. You know, the police declared Mercy's death a suicide. Oh my gosh. I did not kill myself. Like, why do y'all understand? I know. Really? But I just don't see it. That woman was relentless about what she wanted. I, I, mm -hmm. she I don't get it. <laughs> Me neither. I just never knew Mercy that had that type of weakness built in her. I ain't built like that. Uh -huh. She would have never left Caprice. Oh, don't cry. Listen, I didn't like, like her. Baby. And she was real ratchet. And she wore these wigs. They were horrible. But look, 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 the point is, you tried it. I didn't want anything bad to happen to her. <sighs> Everything is getting crazy at home. Uh, <sighs> home. How's Heather? You cry, my nigga? I'm not sure. <laughs> it just, being at home just felt like being on a minefield and she's just waiting to go off. What kind of head is I can't imagine. <laughs> I'm getting a divorce. What? A divorce? 
Are you yeah. playing with me right now? He lying. No. I've been following him since I died. He ain't handled divorce papers. I filed the separation papers before I came out here. I knew you would never agree to come to, to marry me, so I'm getting a divorce. Tell me you're not that naive. Please, please, please. I want you, and I need you. Please tell me you'll be in my life. Please. She's sweet for it. She's sweet. She's sweet. And you did the divorce papers and everything? Yes, I promise. Okay. I'll be in your life no matter what. 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 Kill me again. Kill me off the phone. Mm. 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 That whore doesn't see me as a threat. She thinks that she can just underestimate me. Well, she's going to learn that to underestimate me is to sign a death warrant. And I hope that she's made things right with her maker because she's going to be meeting him real soon. You know, I have been dealt more than my fair share of heartache. And he needs to learn that there are consequences to his actions. And I know that most people believe in just letting karma sort things out for them, but karma takes way too long and my patience is very, very short. <laughs> I'm going to make sure that everything happens as it should if it is the last thing that I do on this earth. We made vows before God and I am holding him to those vows. Till death do us part and separation papers be damned. Yes. I miss you too. Hmm. Oh, you just love surprising me, don't you? Well, I figure I had some papers for you to sign, and uh, you haven't seen me in a couple of weeks, so I just stopped by to say hello. You do know you can fax those, right? I do know that, but um, I figured you wouldn't want to pass up the opportunity of seeing me. Now, would you? Maybe. <laughs> Come uh, on in. I see you. You look like you're in a good mood. I am in a great mood. I just got some good news last night, so I'm on cloud nine. Oh, well, you care to share? Uh, yeah, no. Mm -mm. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Guess we go straight to business. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Uh, Colgate wanted to extend your contract for one more year. They've been getting wonderful feedback from your last advertisement, so they want to book you for more. Wow, okay. Um, I'm looking at this now, and uh, it looks like uh, they're willing to give you $2.3 million for the wait, next wait, 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 say what? $2.3 million? Yeah, I've been going back and forth <gasps> with them for a long time, and that's what they're willing to give you. Oh, my God. I'm about to call my mom, tell her, retire. Wait, wait, don't, so. don't call her just yet. That's just the first deal. What, there's more? I have more? another uh, contract that's on the table from Zach Posen requesting you, him personally requesting you for a fashion show. Shut your mouth. And since he's requesting you personally for your fashion shows and your print modeling, he also willing to give you $1 million for the, for the whole year. <sighs> with the extension for the next year. I'm not good with math, but 2.3. Take your time. I don't know, but that's a lot of money. <laughs> it oh sure my is. God, yeah. thank you so much. Oh, it's no problem at all. Um, yeah, so we could get it started whenever you're ready. I mean, like one of the shows. Oh, well, the fashion show is in uh, two months from now. Okay. The print modeling is, is four months from now, so you have time on that contract. Okay, okay. But uh, Colgate would like you in the studio as soon as next week. <laughs> that is freaking Awesome. I'm just doing my job. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah, no problem. Bring it in, bring it in. <laughs> well, look, um, you will be in New York a lot, so you will need somewhere to stay locally. Um, you can also stay at my loft if you want. Mm -mm, mm -mm. You know what? I think I'm going to get my own place. Y'all know you. I'm going to get my own place. I got money now. It's fine. But thank you for All right, the invitation. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, the offer is always on the table. Okay. But um, I have some things to do before I run in the house. So let me go uh, take care of business. Okay, great. Right. Thank you so much for oh, coming yeah. over and letting me know. I love you wonderful news. Oh, thank you. All right, take care of yourself. All right. Oh, wait. Seriously, is that like 3.3 .3 million? Or, Look, what, just 
condo I'm on I'm getting my calculator right here. I can, can call you, you um, about the full Can you lock the door for me, please? Okay. I think I'm going to take a nap. This is exciting. You know what I can do with that money? Shoot. <laughs> we can eat steak now. Hello, Ananda. What are you doing here? Well, I thought that you and I could come to an understanding about Malcolm. What is there to understand? Well, you seem to have some difficulty understanding what does and what doesn't belong to you, so I thought I'd help you get it right. You know what? The only thing I want to get right is when and where I'm going to fuck you up at when I get out of this. I can't believe this shit. Oh, Anna, that is what he calls you, isn't it? You know, I don't know what I expected of you, but I know that it was more than this. Usually Malcolm has better taste. Oh. <laughs> now, I can forgive him for mercy because he was young and he didn't have me yet, but you, I just don't understand the attraction. Are you serious right now? Listen, you have a TV. You see me on it. You know exactly why he keeps coming back to me. I have plenty of TVs in here and I haven't seen you on that one. Do the math. You sound so pathetic. You are messing with a married man. But you know what, that ends now. Because I don't want to hurt you, but I will. So you get, need to get it straight. Stay away from Malcolm. Stop doing that, okay, all right. But I don't think you hear me. Oh shit. Do you need to learn to tie a knot? <laughs> all right, just making sure I don't need no. Now I want Here's this bitch lying on my floor. She broke into my house. I need you to send an ambulance over here for her. Yes. 1212 Longfellow Drive, Terrence Court Drive. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hurry. Oh. Is it hot? Oh, it's out of here. Hello? Mo. What's going on? Your wife is over here lying in a pool of blood. What? She over here, she going <laughs> well, I, I can't understand you, what are you saying? Oh man, she came over here. Oh shit. Girl, why are you out of breath? You, you need to work out or something. God <laughs> dang. Hello? Ananda. Stop playing. Ananda, what's going on? Hello? I can't hit. Hello? Ananda. I can't believe I'm in the goddamn hospital. <sighs> hey, how you feeling? A little bit queasy, but I guess nothing a nap could cure. You do know your wife is crazy, right? Yeah, I know. She broke into my house, tied me up, and held a knife to my throat. <sighs> you know what? Why am I even talking to you about this? You don't even care. What? Of course I care. That's why I took the first flight to come see you. Mm hmm. Um, you, uh, not gonna press any charges, are you? Are you serious right now? <laughs> Listen, that's up to the police. She broke into my house, so I had to defend myself. You know what? You're so goddamn selfish. Look, Heather's going through a lot right now. She didn't mean any harm. Wait, <laughs> she put a knife to my throat. How is that not harm? It's just that she just received the divorce papers and she was consumed by emotion. Oh, that's it. She yeah. just consumed. Oh, I thought it was something else. Huh? Right. Do you want to know what I'm consumed with? The nurse just came in here and told me that I'm pregnant. Yeah, the same day your wife tries to kill me, I find wait, out I'm pregnant. Wait, wait, that's wait. what I'm consumed with. Pregnant? Is it mine? I don't know if I can be pregnant right now. I, I'm dealing with Heather and Caprice. I, I, I can't do this. I, I, wait a minute. Are you serious right now? You can't be pregnant. <laughs> News flash, ding dong. I'm the woman, so I get 
get pregnant. And whether it's yours or not, that's up to me what I do with it. You know what? I can't stand You got to go. Where's the button? I don't think this button working. <laughs> what are you doing? N nurse? Nurse, can you send someone to 411, please? Somebody needs to be escorted out. That, something's wrong with this daggone button. Did you really just call the hospital security? <laughs> I room? did. And you seen him too. He's big too. You better get on out of here because I'm done being nice to you. You know what? If you need me, I'm down the hall. Down the hall? <laughs> How are you doing? I'm hurt. What happened? I don't know. I just, I, I went to her house to talk to her to try to work things out and she just attacked me for no reason. The police report says that you broke in her house and you held her hostage. You do know it's illegal to break into somebody's house and hold them up with a knife? I, I just wanted her to leave you alone. Why can't you leave her alone? I thought you loved me. I do love you, but I love her too. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. <laughs> well, what did you expect to happen, Malcolm? I mean, first Mercy kills herself, and then, you know, your girlfriend and your wife end up in the hospital after a fight. Like, what did you expect? You know, just, just get out. I, I don't want you here anymore. Just get out. I'll be back. Knock, knock. Oh. Hey, Girl, what did you do to yourself to be cooped up in this hospital? Well, I'm a little bit pregnant and I got into a big fight. <laughs> Wait, you're pregnant? Wow. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm sure. <clears throat> Is it mine? What is a 50% chance? That is yours. It's like 50. What can we find out? I don't know. I just found out I'm pregnant. It's still too early. Well, you still have options since it's still early. Wait, wait, wait. Are you saying what I think you're saying? Because if you are, the option is chosen and my decision is made. I'm keeping my baby. <laughs> this Listen. I didn't forget about business, okay? That's Why don't you just ask them, can I do print and all photo work now and then save runway for after I have the baby? Look, I, I will see what I can do, but let's make the company look really, really bad. Just got you this deal. You go out and get yourself pregnant? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay, first of all, you didn't just give me this deal. It was like two months ago, but I'm not, you know. And second, last time I checked, I can't get pregnant by myself. Someone had to help me. Yeah, now someone is right. And you don't even know who that someone is. Ooh, you tried it. Look, I'm sorry. Look, I have to end any, any further encounters with you that's not business related. Mm -hmm. Look, I'll call you to let you know about the contract renegotiation. Okay. Please let me know when the baby is born so my fraternity test can be established or <clears throat> excluded. Um, don't hesitate to give me a call. Just uh, call me if you need anything. We'll do that. He still longs for her. I see when he goes and makes phone calls when he thinks that I'm not paying attention and the way he looks at his phone when he's looking at her picture. His heart that almost once belonged to me now solely belongs to her. And I get it. I, mean, I, I understand. It's difficult to accept, but I understand. Unfortunately for them, I'm going to make this work. I'm going to make something happen here. And they're going to be sorry because we did make vows before God. And he, he is my life. Without him, there is no life for me. And since he doesn't want to be a part of my life, 
I will remove him from his. Hunter Lewis. Hey, Hunter, this is Ananda. How are you? Oh, hey. It's good to hear your voice. How are the babies? They're beautiful. And that's exactly why I'm calling. I just want to let you know that I did receive the DNA test back. And congratulations, you have a daughter. Her name is Ariane. <laughs> wow, that's, uh, <laughs> that's great news. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm stoked. Um, uh, can I come down to see her? Sure. If we just got out of the hospital, so you can come over anytime. Oh, that's, that's, that's great. I'll, I'll call you when I'm on my way. Oh, uh, Ananda, congratulations. Thank you. You sound real excited. Oh, I'm very excited. Okay. <laughs> about that C-section, whoa! <sighs> what are you doing here? I came to see you and the babies. And I missed you. No, oh, you missed me, huh? Wow. <laughs> They're beautiful. I know, aren't they? So, uh, you get the DNA results back yet? I did, I did. What time is it? Well... Okay, so... <laughs> What had happened was, the nurse, okay, it's hard to explain this. Uh, congratulations, you have a son, his name is Maddox. Let's just leave it at that. Let's just. Wait, what? How could one be mine and not the other? I said, let's leave it at that, let's. No, explain. Okay, I didn't understand either. The, the nurse came in and said it's called heteropaternal superfunctation. Listen, <laughs> I don't know. Something about when two eggs are released and they're fertilized by two different fathers in the same ovulation period. I, listen. What? I know. That's, I don't know. She just told me that it happens one out of 400 sets of twins. And I'm like, why would I be the one? You know what I mean? Because you've been hoeing around. What? Um, nothing. Uh, <laughs> are you doing okay besides the twins? I mean, just found out I got twins with two different fathers. But besides that, I'm all right. It's your fault. But um, <clears throat> I missed you. You keep coming for me. Did you? Really? Yes, you have a funny way of showing it. Where were you the last eight months? I mean, yeah, you called, but you couldn't come down here to see me not once? Not once? I've been busy trying to sort out my life. I mean, all hell broke loose when Heather received the divorce papers. Hmm, Heather, how's that going for you? I retracted the divorce papers. <laughs> Big surprise there, punk ass. <laughs> Look, I, I felt bad after the fight that put her in the hospital. I couldn't walk out on her, too. What? It doesn't mean that I love you any less. You know what? That's fine, because you were able to walk out on me with no problem. So go to your wife, be, be with her. That's fine. Can I at least come see my son? <laughs> you can come see him, but not cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. That chick is crazy. I don't want her around my son. She might try to harm him. Uh-uh. I mean, that's fine. Well, since uh, some time has passed, I could resubmit the divorce papers. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't do that. Last time you did that, she tried to kill me. Listen, I got more to live for. It's not just me anymore. I don't want any drama, none of that. No. Mm -mm. Look, it's going to be about you, me, and the babies yeah, this time. Of course. Time. Mm -hmm. Look, I move up here and everything. Okay? Listen, you do a lot of talking, but you don't do any walking. I'm sorry, I can't believe anything you say until you show me something different. I'll show you. You watch and see. Okay. Not on his face, he was just born. <laughs> it's my son, all right? I'll be back. That's how they get sick, that's what I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Fuck yeah. <laughs> now come in. Hey. Hi. How are you, Hunter? I'm doing well. Wow. Is that her? Yes. 
He want to hold her? Uh, yeah, why not? Watch your neck. Watch your neck. I got it. I got it. Wow. She looks just like you. She's beautiful. Thank you. She's going to be gorgeous. <laughs> she is gorgeous. I can't wait to see what she become when she get older. Maddox, too. They're like my little miracle babies. Sure are. You know what? Let me put him down for a nap and I'll give you some time with Arian by yourself, okay? We need to talk about getting me back to work, all right? <sighs> all right, so I was thinking that maybe if I get back into the runway, I'm gonna need to get a nanny or something. Or maybe a manny, like a pool boy. Nice, strong, strapping. But anyway, there's no point. The point is, I need someone to watch them so I can get back to work. And you got money, so I'm just wondering, can you help with that? I will try something, I don't know. But okay. this is business for me is business, business for you. Different for me. Huh? Yeah. Well. You know. Yeah. What? <laughs> Hold on, wait, what the? What are you talking about? I just about? seen some crazy lady just came in and walked right back. I don't know what's that about, but uh, think I hold a baby tree. Go check it out. Hunter, there's nobody out there but trees. Nah, I'm not tripping, man. I seen something. Oh, you must have been smoking. But anyway, the point is, like, I really need to get back out there and hear the hell Did you hear that? I told you. Hold on, let me check on Maddie. I'll be right back. Where have you been? I've been calling you for hours. I, I was just out taking care of some business. Out where? Just out, just doing something that needed to be done. Don't worry about it. You know what? You've been real secretive lately. I don't got time for that. Hello? What? Listen, I put it in. I put it down in the crib. I fucking heard about the pool boy. Put it in. I came back and he was gone. What, who, who's gone? What are you talking about? He's gone. You have to come up here and help me, please. Okay, I'm on the way. I'm come. on the way. Oh my God. Where are you going? Out. Ananda. Ananda. It's been three months. What do you want to do? I know you want me to pack up Maddie's stuff, but I can't do it. I'm a horrible mother. Who loses a child? Look, you can't keep blaming yourself. All right, we didn't know any of this was going to happen. I should have protected him. Look, Aaron and Caprice need a mother, okay? You need to stop feeling bad for yourself. I want to be there, but every time I look at Arian, I see Maddox's face. I can't do it. I'm sorry. Look, you left me no choice but to raise these two girls on my own because you held up in here crying all day. Somebody has to make sure Caprice get to and from school every day and make sure she's doing her homework. You know what you're missing? Arian is starting to roll over and lifting her head. Wait, she's rolling over? Yes, and you're missing it. Look, I miss Maddie too. He's my son. But we have to focus on the two that are here, okay? Look, I promise I won't bother you about this ever again if you attempt to rejoin our family. How about dinner tonight? I'm sure the girls would love to see you. Okay. Okay? Okay. I'll cook your favorite. I'm gonna go put dinner on and uh, run your bath water because you stink. <laughs> <laughs> I lost the baby, Malcolm. <laughs> you trying to sneak this me all the damn time. Hunter Lewis. Hey, Hunter, this is Ananda. I see I missed your call. Oh, it's good to hear your voice, and I know you're not ducking me anymore. I'm sorry, I really am. Just... Yeah, I, I look, I know you're going through a lot, but 
I really need to know when you get to return to work. Um, Zach is getting really, been real lean, I meant, uh, about the contract you signed, you know, in light of recent events. But um, he's, he's getting really antsy about the whole uh, situation, about this contract, and he needs to know when you can return to work. And I would hate for you to be sued, so, I mean, just let me know when you're available. Are you available? I mean, I don't want to get sued, so, yeah. When is the show? Great, 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 great. Okay, the show is next week. It's uh, actually the weekend. It's uh, Saturday and Sunday. You need to be at both shows because you are the feature model of this show. And uh, they need to count on you to be there. Now, could they? All right, I'll be there. All right, well, um, enough of all that. Uh, how, you, how you holding up? <clears throat> I'm doing horrible. I lost the baby. Look, uh, no, no, uh, look, I told you, if you need anything, you just give me a call. I need my baby boy. Can you get him back? Because if not, then there's nothing you can do for me. Look, Hunter, I'm sorry. I'm in a really crabby mood. Let me just talk to you later. Okay? Wait, 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 wait. Before you hang up, um, can you bring Arian with you, uh, this weekend because I really miss her face. Okay, I'll bring her. All right, thank you. A couple tablespoons of Benadryl helps with that, but. You know, you're pretty amazing, considering what you came from. You remind me a little bit of when Caprice was little. You know, she was never mine, but sometimes it was nice to pretend. You know, your mommy's gonna be here soon, and then it's all gonna be over. You know, I almost feel like in another life, your mom and I could have been friends. But in this one, she's my enemy, so. But I'm going to show them, Maddie. I'm going to show them what I can do in the name of love. Okay. Whew. All right, you can do this, Ananda. Suck your gut in, walk down. Don't fall. That's it. That's easy. Okay. Wow. Ananda. You really outdid yourself this time, girl. I know you're going to kill the wrong way. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. I mean, as long as you're tripping, now. I know, I see. Oh. <laughs> and Hunter, thank you so much. Without you, I wouldn't even got out of bed this morning. Thank you, girl. Without you, I wouldn't be giving this hug. All right. All right, all right, all right. Release my woman, man. Not bad, man. Come here. I just got my makeup done. That's my money now. That's Matt. Well, you can't blame a brother for trying. Mm. You know what? You're right. Why don't you go hit back, and then after the show, I do more than kissing, you know? You promise? I promise, okay? Now All go right. so I can get ready. You're distracting me. <sighs> Dear God, I just had two babies, so <laughs> the midsection ain't where I wanted to be, so I need you to tell me. Let me look skinny in these pictures. Soak it up sideways, poke it out. I don't know, listen. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what, what are you doing here? I wanted to be here for you, baby. <sighs> yes, but no one's supposed to be backstage right now. Look. I just want to talk to you for a minute. Promise me that you'll marry me. What? I'll marry you? You can't just bring this up now when I'm about to go through this big show. Oh, my baby! I knew that you would be here with her. I won't live without you, Malcolm. Why can't you understand that? <laughs> Listen, it's not what you think. Me and Malcolm, I told him I don't want to be with him. We're done. What? I'm not with you. Some of that shit, I'm not with you. <laughs> You know what? I want to believe you. I really do. Okay, but he, he won't live without you, and I won't live without just, him. Just so. Wait. Just my. Ananda, how could you? I loved her. And I loved you. What about my love? I gave you the divorce papers. Why can't you leave me alone? But, but that was that was just because.
because of her and now it's just us. Now we can raise a family and grow old together and, and do all the things that we had talked just about. Just us? There is no family with us. I don't want you. It's just me and Ananda. Fine. Then you can join her. <laughs> Why did you choose her? Why? <coughs> it was supposed to be me. We were supposed to grow old together. I'm so sorry. I never wanted any of this. I'm so sorry. It'll all be over soon. Just know that I will always love you. Till death do us part. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the cast of My Boyfriend's Wife, Layla TV. Calvin Washington Kaisa Guernsey Tiffany Schroeder QT Jenkins And Tiffany Ryan! I've had your baby mama come to my house and your wife. If anyone should get that crown, it's you. It's talking about loyalty. No, please. You need to have a fucking baby, baby mama. You need to get your face. That's your baby. Okay. You need to have a fucking baby. That's your 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 Mm -hmm. Now you are the father. What? Oh I no! Told you. Oh no! I told you. 